All right, so hear me out. I was rewatching some K-On, and uh, if you guys didn't already know, I love K-On to death. It's just such a feel-good anime that can turn any sad person's day around and can make a happy camper's day a thousand times better. But throughout this cute journey of these five high school girls of the Light Music Club, there are many things that we often overlook about one of their members. Well, no surprise here, because as the title insists, I just wanted to talk about Azusa a bit and why I feel for her so deeply and why her pain became my pain and why I believe she deserves so much more love than she received. So boom, misfortune number one, presence. Now don't get me wrong, when she was first introduced and stated that she wanted to join the club, they took her in with open arms and gave her all the attention in the world for like the rest of the season, but I want you guys to peep something here. So Azusa joins the club in episode eight of season one and the second version of the first opening appears in the next episode, episode nine. But, but let, let, let's look at this this addition, all right? Glad they added her guitar in the beginning. That was quite nice. Ho oh, ho, look at that. The gang's all here, right? Right, yeah, yeah. Look at everybody vibing, all right, yeah. Y Yui gets her little screen time. Yeah, yeah, you see everybody's having fun, right, right, right? Hey, but, but look at this, look at this. <laughs> Can we get a freeze frame? Where's my girl Azusa? Yeah, of course, my friends leave me all the time, but never have I lived to witness such disrespect. But it's better hold that camera steady and wait for Azunyan to come through. Couldn't even get in a picture, man. For real, forgot about my girl. And you know, in openings, everybody's supposed to get an equal introduction right we got the girl yui you know she gets her little thing blah, 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 yeah right we got the girl reads you know yeah right right everything's going well everything's going smoothly my girl mio the best girl just saying without a doubt the cutest basis in anime and the one and only rich bushy brow girl pianist mugi but look at this right they're chilling she's not even there azusa's not there but peep this you, you, look at how long it took her to finally get her screen time. What the? What, what is going on? Glad they brought her back though. Look at her playing her guitar. But hold on now. The disrespect returns. Now obviously she hasn't been out with the girls long enough to be able to do all this fun stuff. But openings usually give you a feel for the newer characters that are being introduced and the future experiences they'll have with the original characters. Oh, but look, my girl's back and gone again. Look at this. They're exploring, adventuring, chilling, vibing, running to happiness without her. And here we go. The best part of it all. Peep this. Peep, peep the ending. Okay, look at how Yui, Mugi, Ritz, and Mio are all in like this diamond formation and then Azusa's just awkwardly standing there like she's supposed to be in the middle but she's not because if she was she wouldn't be getting her attention and it looks like they just forced her in there like it just looks so unnatural it looks like an added PNG. But of course, of course this is all for laughs. I obviously understand the tedious and expensive process of animating and uh, considering that you don't really know much about her character yet, you know, it's like alright we'll throw her in there to show that yeah she joined but you know. Yeah. Yeah, that screen time though. And of course he's not in ending one because they obviously didn't do a version two of Don't Say Lazy. But let's move on to Misfortune number two, her sunburns. I'm obviously making this video for people who have seen K-On already. So I'm pretty sure you're aware of, of just how, how common and, and bad her sunburns were. Like for example, look at this man. Like don't get me wrong, she still looks cute and all, but like I, 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 she's in pain. I feel so bad for her and her sensitive skin. Just, just the whole way through, every time she got a sunburn, like she could couldn't have fun to the full extent because she had to worry about keeping her skin intact but as much as i felt bad for her every time she got a sunburn it just it killed me man like it was hilarious i'm trying to keep this video short i just wanted to talk about her real quick considering that she didn't really go through that much pain it, it's, it's just a few things that we kind of don't really take note of but uh misfortune number three loneliness now by this i'm talking about I don't, I don't want to go back to the scene. This will be a pretty big spoiler for anybody who hasn't watched K-On. Because you got you to gotta feel this one firsthand. Like, you have to feel this one to understand just how deep it hits. So if you haven't already, go watch K-On first because it's an amazing anime and you should watch it. But yes, I'm, I'm talking about that scene when the whole club was getting disbanded. Towards the end of the series, I mean, these girls got to go to college, am I right? But Azusa, who's their junior by one year, has to stay while the amazing friends that she just made are, are leaving her and, and graduating, moving on to that next stage, going to college. And the thing is that I can understand this, uh, both sides. I, I felt this from personal experiences. In the years that you're not a senior in high school and you make those, those senior friends and you're just so cool with them, but then they, they just gotta go and you know you're not gonna see them next year. They might be going off to like, some far college across the country and it's just it's just like man and it's wild how i can now relate to this because now i'm the one that's graduated and yesterday night actually well at the time of recording yesterday night uh my, my friend texted me telling me how she appreciated me and wanted to thank me for being a friend and it, it's just 
it hits man it hits when you have when you have that that friend that's one grade or however many grades lower than you and, and you're just leaving them for like sometimes forever it it hurts it really does but you know just like i said and just like any anime character would say you just gotta you just gotta keep on going you gotta keep pushing and unfortunately that's just how <laughs> what am i doing yo this got so motivational I, I don't know what i'm doing right now i need to get back on topic so in essence i i feel as it says pain it's 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 a lot man it's a lot and honestly speaking i didn't start crying until she started crying when as started crying that's when Bro, the, the tears wouldn't stop, man. The tears would not stop. I swear I lost it. I for real couldn't control myself. That was, I, I don't want to relive that, man. That's, she, she deserves so much more. Like, she's so precious. My heart. Sorry to end on such an emotional note, but uh, we can end the video right there. I take way too much time on my outros. I'm going to make this quick. Since we are now in the Otaku Dream Summer arc, expect the consistency to return. College preparation is going to be tough, but uh, I've been planning out my indoor summer real well, so expect some videos in the near future. Speaking of which, munch on that like button if you like the video dislike the video if you didn't like the video and subscribe if you like my style of making videos said video about like five times but be sure to comment down below if you want to say anything you want to give me any thoughts or if you just want to talk i'm all ears or maybe i should say all eyes because technically but anywho follow me on social media if you want to keep up with me when i'm dead on youtube and stuff i'm most active on twitter but i'll leave the links to all that in the description below it's been otaku dreams and that is all she wrote